It's launch day in two days and I'm gonna talk you through the latest Ruslone leather shearling co it's amazing um, but before i get into the video i just wanted to say a really quick thank you to everyone that supported us on our video yesterday if you missed it it's literally the video before this and it's about our fertility journey this year thanks for sharing all your stories but i wanted to say mention this in this video because i'm actually really proud of us for getting a statement piece out like this it completely took priority this year I didn't realise there was going to be so many running up and down because we just had the delivery of these coats. Um, I didn't realise the problems that we had with this bad. I, I didn't know it was going to take a whole year. I had to completely prioritise my health, our full-time job, doing the YouTube and influencing stuff as well, being a mum, um, and then like Rue Sloan. So I'm actually really proud of us for getting these out and you know it's a co it's leather this is bespoke leather for us that that i designed bespoke colors it really was a lot of time and effort and just to give you an update the lace blouse will not be out for christmas because i decided to make my own lace and design it and it's going to have a very special thing in the lace and i'd rather wait two more months and have something that's completely my own lace design so that is launching after christmas maybe the end of january and we have a whole winter collection that will be dropping in february and i did have a summer collection designed but that went before so anyway let's get into the main video now the shearing coat this is a sample and i'm going to talk about that but the shearing coat the timothy comes in the most beautiful muted caramel latte color and you know that i love those muted tones muted tones are what makes something very elegant very wearable and very wearable for you know it's not a harsh winter color like i love maroon but it's very wintry and festive um so yeah very important to make it muted it takes so much this makes it so much, what is the word? Complex and just so much greater. We've got our logo on the back there and it is this beautiful elephant skin. Disclaimer, not really elephant skin. It's just something they call it in the industry because it literally um, replicates elephant skin. Now this leather, they're so heavy. This leather I had made bespoke for Ruslone and it took over a year and I was actually nearly going to give up because it took so long, they just couldn't get it right. I tried so many factories, I'm in love with the factory that we have, they were trying so hard. I knew exactly what I wanted, I wanted this. I nearly gave up and then I had the runway of Saint Laurent came out that launched elephant skin leather jackets, I'll put up a picture here. Obviously we didn't copy that, you can't bespoke an elephant print in under a month. Literally, we've had these for a month now, like the samples, probably more like six weeks. Um, and I just thought, no, like I've got to keep with it. I tried one more time and it came out perfection. Then I had to perfect the color. So for me, this warm muted beige is so beautiful. I've tried it on so many different skin tones. I'm gonna put up a picture of Two of my friends, Lima and Sabrina. I mean, I'm fair with a pinky undertone and it looks so good on me. But if you've got that caramel or dark skin tone, this just, it honestly is divine. I mean, I love it on me. It suits everyone. But I notice with like caramel, caramel, brown, dark black skin, it just looks so, 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 so heavenly. Um, and we've gone with a tonal shearling, which for me is very elegant. People tend to do more of a two-tone, so again, I wanted to do something that everyone else wasn't doing. We've done a classic black. I haven't even named these colours. I need to name them within the next 24 hours. Classic black. I also loved that it was a tonal. I just think it's so chic. Tonal buttons. One thing I forgot to tell you. The signature iPhone pocket in the middle, in, inside I mean, sorry. Logo, it's a matte leather. All of this took so, so long. Um, and the shape, I put up some pictures. I'm so sorry, I can't hold it, it's too heavy for me. Um, if you look at the shape, this is a sample, it was tweaked ever so slightly, so I put up some pictures. Look at the way it puffs out. This took me 
I can't even tell you, I was like, puffier, puffier, too puffy in the wrong place. My heart and soul went into this and do you know, it actually looks so good on men. It's such a, I was really wanted it to work on men as well. I love everything unisex, but unisex? Um, but that puff you get in the back is just everything. It's to me, it's the best shielding coat on the market. Chic, tonal, heavy and warm, but not too heavy. Got the inside pocket, got the outside pocket that's lined with shielding. They're muted, they're Spanish hired, so it's all Spanish leather and, and shielding. It's the curly shielding, tonal. What am I holding that for? Talk about that in a minute. Uh, let's talk about the colours real quick. So this is a sample that I loved and doing a white leather is so risky, especially for a luxury brand. It's so hard to get an elegant white colour and if you do it too off-white, it looks dirty, wishy-washy and grey. You do it too white, it just looks cheap. This one took me forever. So I said, okay, you're nearly done with this. And Paris was like, I love this, let's, do, let's go with this. I was like, I can make it, I can make it a little bit better. So we went with one last colour and you can see, I'm not sure if it's picking up on the camera, but this is ever so slightly more white inside and this is ever so slightly creamy with not being creamy. And I'm not sure if it's picking up the camera, I think it is. Can you see that this is more muted? I love this colour, but I wanted it more muted. So I think for people that are a bit scared of white, this is like the palest, palest of grey tones that you can get. It's literally a white with an undertone of grey, but the grey is so muted that it's not grey. It's perfect. It's so hard to get that. Anyone that knows anything about colour making or making leather, that was so difficult. Um, so you can just see the beautiful tones. I think there's something for everyone. I'm so over the moon with it. I've absolutely lived in it. It's so warm, so light. Um, the price is going to be an introduction price. Again, like we did with the thrusters, it is going to be over the thousand pound mark when it's properly priced, probably for the next drop. So make sure you get one here if you don't want to pay over the thousand. I mean, who wants to pay more? Um, the margin is very small for us, like we did with the duster, but it's like an introductory price that I just think I like to give you for the first people that are here and watching and want to get it first. I just think that's the least I can do to people that really want it. Launching on Wednesday, 4 p.m. Uh, English time, but if you sign up for the newsletter, you can shop before with a code. I won't tell you any more details because you have to sign up to our newsletter for that. I honestly would not be surprised if it weren't before it went live to the public, and I'm not just saying that. I really believe in these. I researched every shielding coat on the market. I've been wearing shielding coats since I can remember, even vintage ones when I was in my late teens. I have been perfecting the shape, the leather, the shielding everything for so many years. I've been buying expensive ones for years. I feel like I've got it down. Uh, everything will, every bag, uh, coat will come with one of these tote bags. Um, we're only pricing these at 24 pounds, um, so they are available to buy now. They've got a zipper inside and they close with a zip, so they're really, really good ones. Uh, natural 100% cotton. So you'll get one of those for free if you buy one of these until stock lasts. I wanted to talk you through the sample stage. So this one, um, it was still very expensive from a luxury factory in Italy, and it was a hundred, just about a hundred pound less than the factory that I went for. And it's made really beautifully, like everything is spot on, the seams, everything. Can you see here? But this was a leather that was in stock, and it's a really beautiful leather. But to me, can you just see the difference? It just looks like your standard, let me put it on. Okay, here we go. So it's beautiful. I mean, I haven't done the, we'll do one here quickly. All the coats can be worn like this, or like this, whatever your pre preference is. Um, it's really beautiful. It's got the lined pockets, everything's the same, but it's not the same. So, you see. That there, it's only a sample, so I didn't even go with the um, label in the end. But this was a leather that they already have, which is beautiful, but we've seen it before, right? This was a standard shielding colour that they had. Again, nice, but it wasn't anything va va voom for me. The shape is really good, but they couldn't get that puffiness. And if you look at the pictures of the, the Rue Sloan one that we have, 
the effort and the skill of pattern cutting that went into giving that that puff here that makes this coat better than anything else you've seen like the way it puffs out was so difficult and this is an italian renowned factory you don't realize they're renowned until you start working with them and find out what brands they're working with but this is a renowned one and we paid more for these ones because they were the only ones that could get the elephant print in my bespoke colors exactly what i wanted uh, so i just wanted to take you through the sampling like we didn't make too many but you can just see the difference from a good coat to an exceptional well-made coat with exceptional leathers and dyeing and all of this there's a big difference so um, yes, literally charging the same price and taking less margin to give you something amazing that we're both so proud of. Quick touch on the name. So Timothy Alton, you know, was like a mentor to me. He's a furniture designer. Um, I've explained before that he sadly passed last year, the, uh, I think it was March last year. Um, and I never forget when I interviewing him, I, he, he went into detail with me about how important it is to do classic pieces and he likes to put a twist on them and I could relate and re everything he say said would resonate with me and it was everything I thought but he just made it clear and steered me in the right direction and when I'm designing and keeping things classic but I put my little special touch like making this modern elephant print. I'm not saying this didn't exist before, of course it did but it's something that hasn't been done for a while hence why Saint Laurent have brought it back. I mean £6,000 plus Saint Laurent and I've seen it in real life and I honestly think ours is better. It's softer, it's more buttery. I honestly think it's better. You're getting yourself a good price here. Um, but I always have these words in my head and it's quite a masculine coat, it's unisex. So I've named this Timothy after him. I think it's a really like British name that, that suits such a British design. So uh, that's why it's called Timothy. I'm sure there's something else I need to tell you. Launching on Wednesday. I remembered what I was going to say. So, as you know, this took a year to make. A little bit longer, but let's put it up to a year. Got the skin done first. They started off as like a cream. It took ages. I didn't want a cream coat. I really wanted the difference between the, the off-white and the beige. Like, I didn't want to do, like, sometimes they were coming, like, this was white, this was cream. Like, what was the point? Let me just pick one. I was adamant I wanted a clear difference between the two so we got the color right that was the easiest part and then it was the elephant print that took the longest time we were waiting for it to come it all looked good in the photos i was waiting and we had a strike off scent strike off is a term that you have when it's like literally like just a little sample and with the embroidery on which is here even that in itself took so long to get it tonal um then Paris was after a gold Birkin for me for my birthday and my essay knew that I'd wanted trench for a while when I'd given up asking because I thought it was long gone and we received this on the Tuesday, this sample, I always keep the samples as mine and got this on the Saturday and it was a surprise for me and he said what have you noticed and I said it's the same colour as our coat and I didn't know exactly until I got it home. It's not identical because obviously it wasn't copied, um, but hello, how, in how incredible match is this? The leather's obviously different. This is the Togo leather and ours is like a big elephant print. You can see here it's slightly different. Ours is a bit more muted, but I was like, wow. And it looks so good with a cool tone gray. And this is obviously cool tone. Sorry, I've got one now varnish missing here. It's bugging me, but we're so, busy with doing this uh, launch for you tomorrow. We're not got anything uploaded, nothing. But how mega is this? Like if you've got a beige tone bag, I just love all the tonalness of it all. It's just perfection. And then I was wearing this. I literally wear them every day. I was wearing this, especially because when I'm walking around Chelsea, I don't really tend to carry a bag with me. I've normally got the buggy. Um, that's why I love the inside pocket. I just put my bank card on my phone or, you know, even Apple Pay these days. Even my key fits in there and I just don't even need a bag. It's got pockets here. Um, and I'm walking and I bump into my friend who'd just come back from Paris and got a Benton, is it Benton? Am I thinking of Benton box? 
Beaton, Bento, I think it's Benton. Um, the Hermes colour. Like this is a coincidence. I don't even have anything bent on. I don't have anything trench, like not even an SLG. They're just the colours that I love and they're not identical. This is a bit more greyer than the bent on, but am I saying bent on right? My, I'm thinking of too many things, but I was like, wow, they're literally really similar colour. I couldn't believe it. Um, but you know, Hermes do a hundred colours. It'd be rare to not get fine one very similar you know so i won't keep you too long check out all the videos on rue sloan um rue sloan on instagram don't forget to sign up to our newsletter look at that puff look at that puff it's, it sits better i'm getting hot now i was moaning about being cold but now the underfloor heating's come on so when you have it done up i've got two jumpers on but when you have it done up that's when you really get the, the good puff so see you on wednesday Earlier for the, sus the subscribers, the, these will go out until stock lasts. And if you do miss out, we'll be doing a pre-order for the next drop, which should be about first week of February, I think. Uh, but see you on Wednesday for the drop. Super excited, amazing Christmas present. Uh, coat of a lifetime, you're gonna have this forever. Your boyfriend and your husband or your son could also borrow it, so yes. Do follow us on Ruth Sloan. See you on Wednesday, 4 p.m. and sooner if you're a subscriber.